So you want to become an awesome lifeline? Let me give you some amazing tips. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stylosa. Welcome to the channel. Let's do a beautiful lifeline guide. Okay, first up, the Resurrect ability. This is her passive. You'll notice it puts a shield up and it reses people 25% faster than any other hero can actually res you. It also is super important based on the direction you want to res from. The first clip, you noticed me use my, put my back towards the wall, so the shield is in front. That clip there, I slide down the bank, I put the shield in front of the player I want to resurrect because that's where the enemy is. Again here, I want to resurrect this player. Watch this, first thing I do, drop down the heal drone because they're going to need healing when I bring them back up. And then I start resing them. The barrier protects all incoming damage. And because we've got a wall behind us, they are completely 100% safe. So yeah, always make sure you throw down the heal drone before you deploy the res because it's going to be the double whammy of sustain. Now, here's another example. A forward attacking player has been knocked down. I need to get in there and res them. I'm putting a bit of pressure on. I'm trying to basically work out where the enemy is. I know they're in front of me. So what I'm going to do is drop my drone. Then I'm going to use my res ability, which is just like the standard res like any other hero's got. But you deploy a shield and it is super, super good for getting people back into the fight. And it's 25% faster. Okay, let's talk about the ultimate. Let's talk about the drop pod because this thing is ridiculous and there is a super cool tip with this. Okay, so I've just dropped this down. What you have to do if you have got one of these lifeline characters on your team is feed them ultimate accelerants so they can get as many drop pods as possible. It is one of the best ultimates in the game. The pod comes down with high level defensive equipment. It means you can gear your team up with purple and above defensive items and that is mega powerful. So watch this. I've literally just used one. I'm going to sit here, pop a load of ultimate accelerants. Each ultimate accelerant gives you 20% ultimate charge. Watch, goes from 57 up to 77%. 50, 60, 70, that's 20 charge, super good. Always give these to your lifeline player. You don't have to communicate with them or whatever, just run up to them and chuck it on the floor and ping it and say, ultimate accelerant, pick it up. They need to keep getting this thing down as much as possible because it is a massive, and I mean massive advantage. Gear is everything in Battle Royale games and especially in Apex Legends. If you've got the defensive gear, you can outlast other teams in fights. All right, let's take a look at a funny fight. So this is me using the drone. We've literally just dropped in. We've got no weapons. I'm fighting two people and I, I, I've got nothing. All I've got is my drone. Now I've put the drone down to try and heal me through this ridiculous brawl. Unluckily, I lose, <laughs> which is to be expected because I'm slightly outmatched here. I've got one HP, but this just goes to show you the drone does give you extended capability to remain in the fight. It's a really good ability. It's not a massively fast heal. It doesn't heal you super quick, but it gives you that little bit more sustain that is going to allow you to stay alive. Now watch this. See, I'm gone down here, but we still got a squad member available. Well, two of our squad are down. That guy, though, he's going to be able to push forward and ultimately he's going to be able to pick us. No, he doesn't. He dies. No, he doesn't pick us back up. But maybe he could have done. <laughs> All right, then. So let's take a look here at a clip using the drone in combat. So this is towards the end of a game. I know we're taking a lot of fire here. We don't actually need the drone just yet. But what I've done is set this up because it lasts for a fairly long time just in case we need to duck back into cover and get that bit of heal. It is always good to think, when will you need the drone? When is the best time to drop this thing? Thing. Generally, if you're about to engage the enemy, you want to put the drone down as sort of like a safe place to move back to to get that bit of a cheeky heal, especially if you're behind cover, maybe you're behind a rock or something and you're engaging another team at long range, then consider dropping the drone down because it's going to give you that heal. Don't be afraid to use it on yourself as well and use it instead of using your health supplies because you will need your syringes and your med kits when you're in the heat of a battle. So use your drone just to kind of top that up. And we get a nice win there. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's take a look in a little bit more detail at the actual ultimate, the drop pod. Now, you can use this as cover. You can also kill people with it. If you drop this on somebody's head, it will kill them. So there is potential to use this as an offensive ability to flush people out of an area, although it would be very risky. Uh, if somebody's in a defensive position behind a rock, you could try and drop the drop pod on them. Although I do like using it as cover, um, the thing you've got to remember is it does give away your position. Um, especially in the later rings of the game or later rounds where you just look for the massive drop pod falling out of the sky and you're like, well, that's where the enemy probably is. All right, so I've killed two teammates here or two, I've killed an enemy squad and I've got the banners of both my teammates. I'm going to run back and I'm going to respawn them. But notice, um, well, you can actually look around as well while you're respawning. So always do that just to keep yourself safe. But I've also got my drop pod and I saved it to use it as my team come back into the game because when you get brought back in from the beacon, you have no gear. So you need to re-equip. Talking of gear, 
This item is ridiculous. If you find this anywhere, give it to your lifeline player. Look what it does. Reduces tactical and ultimate recharge time. You want the ultimate as much as possible with Apex. Uh, with Well, this is Apex Legends, right? With lifeline. You need that ultimate. If you keep giving her anything to increase ultimate charge, it'll be awesome. This backpack is great as well, but I mean, this is good for literally anyone. It just makes healing items twice as fast. Uh, and also, never, ever forget to feed the ultimate accelerant to your lifeline. Just do it all the time. All right, let's take a look at a fight. Now, I've actually got the awesome mod here on the Prowler, so it's fully auto. It does mean it dumps ammo like crazy, but it does a ton of close range damage. So, well, this is just like a fight scenario we've got going down. And my teammate pushes forwards, Wraith. She gets knocked down. She's feeding me a bit of intel, though, going, oh, the guy's in the bubble, in the bubble, and all this stuff. So I'm actually able to get in there and do a bit of work. I've got the automatic pistol, the RE45. I can do work, you know, it's smoke. It's a bit of a mess. This just comes down to gunplay. It's not so much the class that I'm playing right now. However, I take this guy out. I thought it was a bit too risky to do the elimination. So I just shot them, which is always something you've got to be aware of. But look at this. Fast revive. 25% faster. The shield is down. The player is protected. More people are coming in. Watch who gets the kill here. My teammate gets the kill. That's because I brought them back. Now, there is an argument that if I wasn't lifeline, I might not have brought them back in time there and I would have suffered. Well, I would have been killed because there wouldn't have been two targets for that player to fire at and potentially they could have killed me. All right. So here we are again. Same fight, literally a couple of minutes for, well, a couple of seconds forward. Um, I'm taking a lot of damage. Now, actually, I'm kind of okay here because I've got the Prowler. It's fully auto. I can push back around to my team and that's what I'm going to try and do. My main plan here is to get back to my teammate and deploy the heal drop drone, right? They need the heal drone, but actually they're pretty far away if you notice. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to loot. It looks like we get an enemy Gibraltar comes back on top of us, drops his shield for some reason, which is kind of insanity, but whatever. Uh, you'll notice the teammate now on my team is actually healing. Uh, and you'll notice as well on the UI, there is like a muzzle flash when one of your teammates is firing, which is really cool. A nice little bit of detail there. So we actually managed to push back this fight here and notice I've still got the heal drone. So I didn't use it because there kind of really wasn't any point to use it there. You, this is kind of what you got to weigh up, right? Do you want to use it? Do you not want to use it? So let's take a look at this example. My team are pinned down. That teammate is taking fire. So I'm going to get into them and I'm going to support them. And I've decided to drop the dock. Well, it's called dock, but I like calling it heal drone. To drop that thing down just to give them a bit of support from that position because it is kind of exposed. But notice what I'm going to do here. And this isn't a tip which is specific to Lifeline. This is just Apex Legends good gameplay. I know where the enemy team are. I know where they're firing at my team. So if I put a bit of pressure on them here, okay, that's cool. But what I can do is flank them. I don't have much ammo left in this weapon. In fact, I'm about to run out. But now I've got the Peacekeeper. I'm in the middle of a caustic smoke bomb, which isn't great, or smoke trap, which is going off. It might have been his ultimate, actually, that one. Um, but notice I'm going to go around on the flank. So first thing I'm going to do is top myself up with shields. This is cool. I see Bangalore's ultimate come down. I'm like, oh, God, I really don't want any part of that. So I'm going to push forward. But still, the idea to flank is in my head. Look at the minimap. See my team pushing left? I'm pushing right. Now, you could argue that Lifeline probably wants to stay with the team a little bit more. However, this is just the way this cookie has crumbled, right? The way the game's rolled. I've just got to go with this. You've got to roll with the punches. So I'm around the side, shotgun, catch the whole enemy team. Un like, they, they don't know I'm here. It's great. Get knocked down on the Gibraltar. Get another knockdown. My team are pushing. I'm pushing. I've got to reload this weapon because I've got no ammunition in my other weapon. Keep going for damage. Land in the hits. Get the kills. Wipe out the whole squad. Get the achievement. Absolutely beautiful. Always flank when possible. Okay, so this is how not to revive. So I'm going to go forward here. My teammate is downed. Now, there's two guys in here. I'm going to take these guys out. Simple enough. Aim at them, shoot them, kill them. It's beautiful. I've got the R301. Pretty nice assault rifle. So I get the kills. But then I res. Look. Top right of the screen. Oh dear, there's an enemy player. Um, I'm kind of committed to the res. It's okay. Because the shield's going to protect me. The problem is, well, now my teammate's instantly dead again. I'm dropped down and I don't know where the enemy team are. I miss a bunch of shots, which isn't great. However, even if I missed, oh, I land all those shots and killed that person... There was somebody above, this Bangalore, she jumps down, punches me in the face, goes for a bit of humiliation, and then rams the, well, the finisher into me. Which wasn't clever of her, because you've got to be really careful with finishers in this game. Only ever go for the finisher when you know it's safe. If it isn't safe and you're in a squad fight, just kill them. It is not worth the risk of trying to go for this finisher, because look what happens here. Actually, we had a squad mate left. That squad mate comes in, kills that enemy squad, brings us back into the game. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we can start going around doing our stuff. I can go and get my teammate back. Because I'm lifeline, you should always let lifeline bring people back when they're down if you can, because it's 25% faster, especially if they're about to run out of revive time. Look, we've got 10 seconds left on this. Um, yeah, sure. The other guy would have been able to res them in time, but lifeline, hey, it just helps. It's that little bit of extra speed. So there you go, guys. 
guys. I've been Stylosa, and this is Unit Lost. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. This has been another Apex Legends hero or legend guide. This has been Lifeline. There will be more of these coming on the channel. They are super fun to do. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying the new content on the channel. I'm really enjoying this game. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Really enjoying Lifeline as well. I think she's a really good hero right now. Just remember, keep feeding her ultimate charge or ultimate accelerant. And I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.